It's all about the pomp and pageantry. Queen Elizabeth II will officially open a new term of Parliament Wednesday. The Queen's speech will mark the start of Prime Minister David Cameron's second year in a second term in office. The day begins at roughly 10 a.m. when the Queen's Royal Yeoman searches the cellars of Parliament, a tradition dating back to 1605 when Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the building. After all is clear, the Queen's imperial state crown is transported from the Tower of London. The crown has over 2,800 diamonds, 273 pearls, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds and 5 rubies. All that bling means it weighs roughly 2.5 pounds and there are some concerns that it could be too heavy for the 90-year-old monarch. The Queen makes her way from Buckingham Palace to Parliament in her Diamond Jubilee carriage. It was built in 2013, only the second one made in the last century. The royal carriage contains wood panelling from Isaac Newton's apple tree. After the Queen arrives, the gentleman usher of the Black Rod is summoned to the House of Commons to ask MPs to attend the Queen's speech in the House of Lords. No monarch is allowed into the House of Commons. Once everyone is assembled, that's when the Queen reads out her government's royal address, one that is written by David Cameron's government. Phil Hahn, CNBC, London.